What's up everybody? This is a quick video about how we help control um, cucumber beetles and squash bugs. So these here are just yellow cello cups that I've painted or coated the inside and outside of with uh, this sticky coating. That's basically the same thing that's on the, uh, the yellow sticky strips that you see in the store. But on the inside I've put a cotton swab with clove essential oil. Now I'm going to try that on this one, but I'm about to build another one that I'm going to use um, some form of a squash flower itself. So I'm going to take some of the squash flowers from my squash plants over here and I'm going to attach them to it, um, trying to draw more squash bugs. I'm going to put it over here. So anyway, we're going to go make another one of those now and we'll show how we make it. But last year we found this to be pretty effective at controlling cucumber beetles especially and we didn't see very many friendly insects that got caught up in, in there um, really not many at all there was a robber fly and that's really all I can remember that um, was a beneficial insect that got caught up on it okay so we're all set up and we're gonna make one of these um, cucumber beetle traps so we've got our tangle trap sticky coating we got this on Amazon hi Mary got our yellow cups we're gonna drill holes and two holes in the bottom of it so can we attach these to the wooden stakes with zip ties and then here's the cotton swabs that we put on there so I'll go ahead and set I'll go ahead and get started on drilling the holes on here all right so I've got my yellow solo cup and my drill bit I'm just going to drill two holes I'm going to take the stick cup Put the zip tie through, then route the other side out. And I'm going to attach it to the stake. No thanks, man. All right, so now I've got it at this point, and now it's time to uh, attach cotton swab onto here. Okay, so now the next step is to attach the cotton swab to the inside of the cup. So I just use the sticky glue that I'm using to coat the cup and just use it as the glue to hold the cotton swab. So I put that on there, cotton swab, press it down, and there it is. So now we're going to coat the inside and the outside of it with this sticky trap stuff. So this bottle is running low, I just ordered another one. I'm not sure where else you can get this. Like I said, I got it on Amazon. I think it was $13 for this eight ounce container. And you just go through and coat all around it here. You don't want to get this stuff on your hands. It's kind of a pain to get off. Okay, so now we got to coat the inside. And then we'll put the essential oil drops uh, in there on the top. All right, so we've got the inside and the outside both coated now. So now we're going to take our clove essential oil and just put some drops down here on the cotton swab. And that's it. It's ready to go. So I've got another one I've got to finish here as well. And then we're just going to take this out and stick it on the ground next to a squash plant. And I'm going to build one more, like I said, that I try using squash flowers inside of here instead of clove essential oil. Junior's back there making noise. So, uh, anyway, I promised a video on these uh, cucumber beetle and squash bug traps, and uh, here it is. So, thanks for watching. There's one thing that I did want to mention about this it does matter the color of the solo cup. The reason why I went with yellow is because I'm trying to match the flowers for the plants they're targeting. So, you can see the cucumbers here have yellow flowers and the squash over here have yellow flowers. So that's just all part of the trap on uh, tricking the bugs to, to land on it. 